this is a roadmap of the next few months of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Now we are in, heading towards what's called the Alonzo phase. And so what Alonzo does is it takes this foundation extended to UTXO, which is partially already in the code base, and adds it all in and then puts this beautiful Plutus platform on top of Cardano. The age of Plutus is almost upon us. Welcome to the Gogan era. Alonzo is almost here. Code freeze, feature freeze, ideally at the end of June, four to six weeks to get the partners upgraded in. And now it's finally time to see one of the most elegant and beautiful programming models in the history of our industry of wake up and do something really cool. This is frankly how Bitcoin should have done smart contracts. And I think if Satoshi was a PL expert, probably would have done it in the beginning. But, you know, that's the benefit of hindsight and time is that you can make things better, improve things. Uh, and as I mentioned, this is just the beginning. So after Plutus hits market, there's still lots of work we're going to be doing, improving the application framework, the standard libraries, the documentation, uh, and also iterating the overall model of Plutus. So version two, we're already in discussions about what that would look like. This programmability, once it comes out, will enable uh, the Plutus ecosystem to bring DeFi, the Plutus ecosystem to bring really beautiful tokens, all kinds of cool things uh, to uh, Cardano. So if you like Uniswap, you you like uh, MakerDAO, you like all this stuff that's uh, come with Ethereum, uh, this is basically what's going to open up that possibility and bring it to our chain. It's really the last mile and it what puts everything together. Moving beyond this, then it's all about finishing up the Ouroboros agenda. So we're getting to Genesis. Uh, moving beyond this, it's all about finishing up the governance components. And so completing Catalyst and completing the on-chain update system and then fully turning over all those mechanics to a community governance system. And then we're in the Cardano 2025 age and we have so many cool things like Omega and cool things like light clients and so forth. But uh, this is the big one. This is the one that I've personally been waiting for more than anything else.